spend most of the time sleeping. When I go to the class and someone makes noise, the head could try to bust. I did, I did the first papers unconsciously. I remember the more, the more I started writing, the more the, the head could roll around. Until when even I could lose sight for the paper. So I tried to calm down myself for like, for like five minutes. Until when I could regain and people could ask me what's the problem. With me. Time could go. It's me who could know what I was going through. And this God is faithful. In my heart, I waited upon God. In my mind, I had only one thing. I only wanted one thing, prayer. When I joined with my prayer warriors, we could pray. It was in my third paper. I realized there was a problem with my life. When I regain, I came to my normal. When that thing got off me, I realized as if I had something wrong in my life. I realized as if I had something wrong in my life. It was like someone taking a burden off your life and you could not really understand what is going on. So from then it never appeared again. I want to inform you when you trust God and when I wait upon God no matter what the situation is saying God remains God. He will show up above everything. When those papers came back, the results. I had, I had it passed like I never passed before. In my A level exam. I had never scored the marks I scored. Through all the tests that I've been doing. Even the exams that I did unconsciously. I even passed them. Amen. And that is God. Amen. Briefly, I want to speak about waiting upon God. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus was ascending, he told his parents, Wait upon me, I'll be back. Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, no one wants to wait. When it comes to important things, things of God, many people don't want to wait. And we normally give God conditions. We tell Him, Lord, if you don't perform this year, I'll just quit and find some other ways. Amen. As we wait, as we can wait in traffic. People can obey traffic rules for oh, even two hours. But people cannot sit and wait upon God for two hours. Waiting to see what God is saying. People line up in supermarkets. Waiting to pay money. People wait for doctors. If you want to prove that, go to Chisugu and visit. People wait for a doctor every day. Go to Chisugu and visit. People wait for a doctor every day. Go to Chisugu and visit. People wait for a doctor every day. Go to Chisugu and visit. People wait for a doctor every day. But waiting upon God it is too difficult in our lives and people's lives. But it's my prayer today that may God give you grace that you learn to wait upon Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Waiting is not just something we have to do to get what we want. 
biblical waiting we don't just wait mere waiting uh, not until what we want has happened uh -huh. It's not just around sitting and waiting until God answers us. Waiting is a process of becoming what God wants us to be. I don't know if you have a question. Waiting is a process of becoming what God wants you to become. Praise God. Praise God. A brick cannot be functional when it has just come out of its shape. It has to come through the, the process of drying up. It has to be dried up and then it becomes dry. After it has dried up, though it can build temporary houses, but if it is to build permanent things, it needs another step of fire. Amen. Waiting is a process of become what God wants you to become. Not just mere wasting of time that the will of God will be done. David that has the heart of God. God doesn't see such a heart in palace. He sees that heart through the bush when he's fighting for the ship. In the process of waiting for God, David fought fowls. David fought lions when he was saving the animals that he was shepherding. So this standard of waiting it is a process of fighting. It is the standard of fighting for your It's the standard of prayer. It is the process of waiting upon God. It is a level of strengthening your destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Before a butterfly becomes what it is that you desire, you attract to two. Abazungu babi agala nyoba sasula ne neba sasula ne dollars eziwe na kona neba jamu Africa basobolo kula baby wajoro. Europeans are so much attracted with those butterflies. Na ye chuo wajoro kufuke chuo wajoro. But a butterfly to become a butterfly. Chie tamu metendera. It passes through processes. Chibe rechi sani. It becomes a caterpillar. Ne chiva mchi sani. From a caterpillar, it becomes a pupa, a pupa. and then it encircles into a pupa stage. It spends some time in that stage. It cannot even drink or eat. It is in the pupa stage. Then from that stage, you get attracted to it. Because of the attractive colors it bears. Amen. Secondly, what God does in us as we wait is as important as what we are waiting for. As you are waiting for God, the things that God is doing oh, in your life, that work that God is doing in you, so nyo, is so vital. In fact, it's going to determine what you're going to become. Praise God. A beautiful wife that can become a mother, a good wife, is not made on a wedding day. Amen. But in this process of waiting, you learn. 
How do we run marriages? How do we hand a husband? How do you hand a wife? It is a step of learning. A step of being furnished. Removing whatever that is not worthy of That could not support you to stand on that work that you are doing. When I was still a student, still a young child. We used to ask when will we ever get rid of this study and I don't know whether they've ever asked us the question. But after studying, are you now at this? By then, your mom could wake you up. And tell you, please wake up. Wake up and go and bathe. Bathe, take tea, go to school. You were seven or nine years by then. But you are now a mature person. You could wake up at 6.30 a.m. But these days you wake up at 5. Without anyone waking you up. Responsibility wakes you up. You must meet your customers. So that step of studying would prepare us to become responsible people in life. Don't sleep from morning up to evening. How many people would like to marry a lazy husband? Or a lazy woman that will live in bed and find high in bed. We have not even washed the house. The house is dirty. Everything is disorganized. That level of studying they could wake us early. These days we wake up early without anyone pushing you. So this process of waiting is so vital. As that real thing you are going to become. Amen. The biblical waiting is not a passive waiting around. For something to happen. That will allow us to escape our troubles. It's biblical waiting. It's not just a matter of being precise. Let me just wait just for the case of waiting. When will someone get rid of working and then get a husband and then? Everything sorted out. If you find such a lazy woman, no man, just ignore. Because even what you have achieved is going to destroy them all. Let's get back to the Bible. Amen. Because even what you have achieved is going to destroy them all. Amen. We don't wait upon God. Not to pass time. That whatever is going to do is going to find us seated and relaxing, lazy people. Praise the Lord. As Christians, we don't run away from troubles, but we do things that will cause the trouble and its causer to run away from us. For our local, we born again. We don't run away from situations, but we do things and we trust God. Situation and its cause and they free from us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. James chapter 4, verse 7. A government submit therefore unto the Lord. Therefore submit to God. Where were you? Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. We just resist the devil. 
We don't run away from him. We submit to God. And after submitting, we are empowered to resist the devil and his works. And then he runs away from us. We are not here to quit. But we are here to stand. And the devil is drawn with his works. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Waiting is not a way to evade unpleasant reality. Or waiting is not a way of preventing simple things. Not just a matter of preventing them. We don't just prevent situations. A victor challenges the situation. When the Israelites were in a battle for 40 days fighting Philistines, whenever Goliath could show up, they could free. They could prevent the situation. Until when a wise man showed up, until a man filled the spirit of God, who is this uncircumcised Philistine to stand against the army of the Almighty God? Until you rise up, some situations need you to be stout. Amen. As you wait, don't say, May God is will will be done. God is will is that you are well. Oh. Now, but there are some things you need to do. There are some battles you ought to fight. You have to pray. The Bible says some things cannot be taken away. But rather through fasting and praying. Some things are stubborn. Until you fast. And you pray. Praise God. When Jesus told his disciples to wait in Jerusalem, he was telling them that this was a means of experiencing his peace, prosperity, and power. And in waiting upon the Lord, the disciples saw the move of God. Acts chapter 1, verse 4. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the Father which he said you have heard from me give us the next verse for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now give us the next verse therefore when they had come together they asked him Lord will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel and he said to them, It is not for you to know times and seasons for which the Father has put in his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Now, the disciples were asking 
Because there was a lot of torment and persecution in Israel. But Jesus arose from the dead. They started asking questions. Are you going to restore our kingdom? Their kingdom was taken away. They were rude, but they were under the Roman Empire. Amen. Their kingdom was already taken they, away. They were powerless without authority. They are asking Jesus, Is this the time you are going to restore our kingdom? Jesus is answering them. That is not for you to know. It is not in the wisdom of man to know. But wait upon the promise of the Father. He promised you that I will send the Holy Spirit that you may become my disciples. You become a, a true disciple of Jesus Christ through waiting. You must be filled with the Holy Spirit. You need to see the way God sees. Don't, you don't see through people. In reality, these purposes were not educated. They were just fishermen. They were farmers. They were just miners. The Bible says they turn the earth upside down. Until today, impact their impact is felt. Jesus is telling them it is not for you to know the seasons and days. In fact, let me wind up by this. As you wait, wait you need the Holy Spirit. To discern the times and seasons. You need the Holy Spirit to discern the seasons and times. There are times for the work of God. There are times when God manifests on your behalf. If you don't have spiritual eyes, you are going to lag behind. God is going to tell you, move. You are going to lag. You need the Holy Spirit to work in you as God wishes you to move. Hallelujah. Amen. Lastly, waiting on God increases our strength. Times of waiting upon God are times of strengthening up our muscles. Times of waiting upon God are times of sharpening our minds, opening up our eyes. People that have done exploits in the Bible and this world that we live in, they don't wait upon the problems I face. They look for opportunities in the problems and they face. And they do something out of the time of crisis. You see that they found in the crisis of COVID. There are companies in European countries that are getting out of COVID. Those who manufactured vaccine. Right now you have to book for the vaccine. Everyone is yearning for the vaccine. But you have to line up. The president have Aired out several times. We have the money, but those who, who own the vaccines, they are not willing to sell. The priority is those their own countries. So such people, in this time of crisis, they don't sleep and doze. They don't weep and cry for food. They stood out and thought, what could we get out of this situation? 
What can heal this sickness? Never call a vaccine. And actually the vaccine. That's how they have managed to rip money out of it. Amen. Have my boss. When Sudan is going to separate South Sudan and North Sudan. That's when he decided to go to Sudan and make business. A Midwest war. A Midwest ambushes. He just bought cars. To take water to do business in Sudan. People who are going to excel in this situation amidst the crisis. They see opportunity amidst the crisis. In your times of being a single, times of being unemployed, in times when you are just developing your store, those are times of Opening, focus and see. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah 40, 31. Isaiah na asatumulu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you there? Isaiah 40. Isaiah na verse 31. Asatumulu. Katusembia ye choche njini. Amen. Aha. He gives power to the weak. He gives power to the Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God. The Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth. Neither faints. Tazirika. Tazirika. Nor is he weary. Era. Takoa. Ta, 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 His understanding is unsearchable. Give us verse 29. He gives power to the weak. Awama, nyiri, and to those who have no might. He increases their strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Praise the Lord. Amen. Those who wait upon God their strength will be renewed. In the moments of waiting upon God. At times of strength to zirika, Don't faint. To zirika, don't allow to faint. Victors. Wanika, don't give up. Wanika, and those who give up. Wangula, they never win anything. Amen. Amen. A victor never gives up. And those who give up never win. And lastly, don't fear to do mistakes. In times of waiting, do mistakes. Try. You have done it and you have done it. Try it again. If someone says I don't have mistakes, I don't err. It means that person has never tried. A person who is going to progress. A good person who waits. He tries. Even when, when you fall, stand up and tries. If it fails, try and stand up. The Bible says in Job, there is hope. When a tree is cut, its stem, that stem, when the root splits water, 
It will sprout. Though you may be cut. When you feel the water. You will sprout again. So still thick for water. The living water is Jesus Christ. He says, whoever tastes this water will never thirst again. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the permanent solution to every problem that you have. Rise upon your feet. Hallelujah. Amen. Just lift up your hands and I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your sons and daughters. We have shared your word just as you have put it upon my heart. I pray in the name of Jesus, may that word yield fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. As we wait upon you, Lord, those wait upon you be renew their strength I pray in the name of Jesus be strong be of good cheer I pray that you be cheered up I pray that you be strong be cheered up yes you have tried and you failed but be strong stand up again rise up and try again as you wait upon God the Bible says the righteous for seven times but he stands up you have failed seven times stand up the grace of God is the grace of God is the grace of God is the grace of God the grace of God is 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 the the grace Establish them. Basanyuse. Make them happy. Basasense ko. Make them love. In the name of Jesus. the devil in their stores. Uh, and to their houses. Live in their businesses. Bless them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Uh, camp meeting here. The meeting of Ruero and Karulu is still going on. It will be ending on Sunday. Let's continue to pray for them. The camp meeting of Cornerstone is soon around the corner. On to the committee members. Tomorrow, we shall have a meeting at 5 p.m. Exactly. The committee members of camp meeting we shall have a meeting at 5 o'clock inform those who are absent and may God bless you let's confess the words of grace with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ we shall have a meeting at 5 o'clock inform those who are absent Nabaluganda bona, Bremejita Guao, Amina, Amina. Mukama when you muxa, God bless you. Cut to sink a ne, Kurunako Rasande, we meet on Sunday, Molinia Yamukama, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.